You didn't, you didn't even tell me there was no sound. Vidrian's not even. Oh, Vidrian already hung up. Vidrian. Vidrian, you're fired. You didn't even tell me that you hung up and there's no sound. Whatever, you just hung up instead. It's so rude. Is there no sound now? Or is it better? What's happening? Good, I'm glad they heard that you're fired. Yeah. Oh my gosh, now I'm, even, I'm sweating even more now. Hold on. Oh, it's so hot. Also, it's like raining. Right now, too, which is so crazy. It is raining here, and it's super hot. Oh, wait, do I still sound staticky now, or is it my fan? What is, what is it? No, but I moved it. I moved the fan. It's like over here now. Is it better now, or does it still sound crazy? I feel like the background is like way too intense. I feel like we need to change it, but I'll change it next time. It wasn't as bad earlier because I was doing this setup during the daytime and I felt like the background illuminated more. Now I think I need more lights back there or something. <laughs> Can you wait, is it better now, Vadrian, or no? Vadrian's just has me on mute, so. Hold on, I need to move all these things over onto the other screen. Is it still weird? <sighs> it's so hot. Is it the fan of my computer? Maybe my computer is going to explode. Is that it? Maybe I need my necklace fan. <laughs> I'm so high. Oh my gosh. I don't know. It's the humidity. It's like seeping into the house. No, it's the one from a computer. It's just like regular. Doesn't it sound normal? I don't know. I can hear myself on your computer. Thank you guys for bearing with me. <laughs> this is like a test run. No, I'm poor. I don't have AC. Does it sound better now, though? Now that I turned off the other hand? Yeah? Or maybe I'll just like stand closer to the computer? I need a microphone. John stole mine, so I don't have one. All right. Oh, Marisol, what did you post? Um, also, if anyone would like to join the Discord, I will leave a link as well. But, where did you leave the photos, Marisol? So I have been like MIA from like literally everything because I've just been so busy at the house with my relatives here. But hopefully it'll calm down now that they're gone and then the kids are in school now. So... Hopefully it's like not too crazy. No, we have AC. I just don't turn it on that high downstairs because I feel like I'm the only one that's down here during this time. And like, I'm not gonna 
cool down the whole downstairs just because I'm hot. So, <laughs> but here is the link for the ah. Uh, okay. Oh, 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 what is happening? I'm gonna move this over here. Sorry, I have like a giant screen that I'm also using. And I don't know, maybe it's the screen that's like making everything weird. Like, I don't know if that's like messing up the sound or something. Wait, does it have a... Does this thing have like its own mic? No, okay, no, I took that down. Um, okay, no, I think that's fine. Oh, that's good to hear, Kathleen. Kathleen, I emailed you about your bag. I think you reply. I thought, oh, maybe you didn't, maybe you haven't seen it yet. But I emailed you about it um, the other day. I don't know what happened to it. It's like lost in the mail. So we were going to refund you. And then we were going to, um, what was it? Like, do You bought something else and we were going to put the money for the return towards that and then just refund you the difference because it's not showing up anywhere in the post office when we at like when I call or look it up like it's not even showing up anywhere so I don't know what happened to it when I dropped it off at the post office sorry I'm trying to find that photo Oh, photo media share. <laughs> oh, I don't see the photo that you posted, Amerisol. When did you post them? Was it like a while ago? Is it possible to uh, to like post it again or send it to me in like an email? Oh, Mount Kisco? No way. I used to I used to live there. <gasps> oh, I see it. Oh my gosh, there it is. No way. There's bubble tea there. <gasps> How cute. That's so cool. I feel like standing up is like giving me anxiety. I mean, it's like sitting down. Hey, Steffi, how's it going? But that's so cool. I, mean, I can't believe my kids has boba now. That's crazy. The only, like, back when I lived there, the only, like, Asian thing that they had was the Sanrio store, which was so random. But that was that, and then there was a Chinese restaurant. And those were just the, those were the only two things. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to like type it out just in case you couldn't hear. But is the sound better? 
I feel like everything is just so intense in the background. Oh, but for today's giveaway, if you guys can help me think of a giveaway question, um, I have a pair of sunglasses, and these are super cute. It's by a brand called Wonderland. And these sunglasses actually retail for a lot, like almost $200. These are just really cute, like tortoise shell sunglasses. And I feel like they're a good size. They're like not too big, not too small. If you're part of the um, Big Head Brigade, these will still fit you. But I feel like they're not too big. They're going to overpower someone that has a smaller head. So this is today's giveaway. We're in the handbag bunker, is where we are tonight. Oh, that sounds so delicious, Hana. But I feel like this background is way too busy. So I need to like figure out something new for the next live because it's like giving me anxiety. There's like so much stuff back there. Uh, but if you guys can help me think of a giveaway question, that would be perfect. Again, we're giving away these really cute sunglasses tonight. <laughs> Steffi, it's like a hot mess. So don't, like, don't look too hard. Everything's just like everywhere back there. I need to get, like, even more lighting or something, because right now it's just, like, too dark and, like, hot message back there. So, I don't know. We might have to, like, change the angle of the camera or change where I have it um, for the next live. But for right now, this is how it is. Maybe I need, like, a green screen or something. I feel like that would be kind of cool. But I can't believe Mount Gisco finally has boba. <laughs> Steffi. With his sweet line stapler. <laughs> oh my gosh, how can you see my stapler? How did you know it was swing line? You psychic? Do I have another stapler back there? <laughs> yes, I did, Cindy. Yeah. I think it was from the same angle, too, like from where it is now, but it's kind of um, has changed a little bit back there. Maybe it's because I have like a bunch of stuff on this chair. Is this like the thing that's like making it look even worse? Do you see my light down there? It's so cool. I just like put it underneath the the stand and like it kind of looks like it's like a rocket ship that's like blowing out into space. Okay. But I need a giveaway question and then we can start. I don't have like too much stuff. I didn't really um, gather too much. I think we're gonna do another live tomorrow morning. I just kind of wanted to test out the new setup and see how it is. And it's kind of like, I feel like it's a little crazy looking. Oh, the movie The Office. <laughs> I was like, how did you know how to swing line stapler? That's so random, but cool. You psychic. <laughs> Wait, did they have a op The Office movie? Or was it just like the TV show? As long as I have all my handbags with me, I'm good. Ooh. 
current show you're streaming. I like that one. That is a great question, Hana. Thank ya. All right, let me get the giveaway link, and then we shall get started. All right, that's the link for the giveaway. Leave your answer to today's question there in the comments. And then at the end of tonight's live sale, we'll be announcing our giveaway winner. And now I move the camera. How did that happen? That's weird. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, there we go. How much do you love Keanu? Oh, office space. Okay. I love Keanu Reeves. He's like, I feel like he's one of the sweetest people. So our question is, what is the current show you are streaming? Next, who would you leave your significant other for? On, uh, hey, Purple Rain, how's it going? Oh, and don't forget to give the live a thumbs up. And um, that video, as well, that um, we're to our that you're going to be entering the giveaway in, I would greatly appreciate it. But yeah, what are you currently? What show are you currently watching right now? Also, did anyone watch the Meg yet? I really want to see it. But what's something that you guys are currently binge watching? Is anyone watching, um, what's it called? Good Omens? Is it Good Omens? Yeah, Good Omens. It's the second season. The last season was like a few years ago, and then they brought it back randomly. I read like the book, and it was so good. It was like Terry Pratchett and um, Neil Gaiman that wrote it. Like they did like collaborative like, effort to write the book, and it's really, really good. Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> you guys are funny. Wait, have you guys ever heard of a show called Yellow Jacket? I think that's what it's called. I think it's, um... Reed, are you there? Ew, why are you so quiet? I feel like you're just hanging up on me, like, every two seconds. Whatever. Ah, oh, Han, I'm glad that you like Good Omens. That's so cool. I feel like no one knows what I'm talking about when I talk about that. I was trying to tell, I was telling my cousin about it, and she's like, no, haven't heard of it. Yeah. But it's so good. I love that show. The first one was really good, too. And if anyone's watched The Discovery of Witches, I feel like that was good, too. I don't know if there's going to be another season, though. Did it get canceled? I'm not sure. But the books are really, really good, too. If you guys are looking for a good book to read. Arrested Development. Ooh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Yeah, that's so sad, Hana. I actually didn't even know that he'd passed away. When, when, how long ago was that? He's he wrote the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and all those good books too. <gasps> Are you serious? You have a signed copy? That's amazing. Wait, did you like Sandman? I feel like I asked this before, but I'm really excited that Sandman has a second season. I feel like there's still so much story to tell. <gasps> oh! 
Oh, you should. I really, really like the book. And the show is really good, too. Oh, I didn't know he passed away. Sad. All right, let's get started. Sorry, I'm just like... Fedrian! What happened to you now? Why are you laughing? Why? Mm, before you weren't making any sounds, now you're just laughing at me. Oh, Douglas Adams! That's right. Who wrote Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? I mean, what, is, what else did Jerry Pratchett write? He wrote... No. I keep thinking of Neil Gaiman books. What else did he write? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Was it a book where it's like... Now my brain is not working. Yeah, it's like such a long-running comic. Or like the graphic novel. Okay, anyway, let's... <gasps> Discworld! There you go. There you go. Okay, let me show my first item for the night. Okay, let's do... Okay, let's do this. I have this super cute... Oh my gosh, how is the lighting so crazy looking right now? This is a Louis Vuitton. It's in this patent pink and orange, and it has like the Vachetta leather handles. This though does have like color transfer throughout, and I cannot remove it. It's, do you see it? There's a color transfer right there on the sides. There's a little color transfer right there as well. And on the bottom, on the back, there's color transfer right there, too. So it kind of has color transfer throughout. Um, I think it's still cute as is. Or you can possibly, like, just dye it um, black. I feel like that would probably be the only way to really cover it up. I don't think that there's any other color, like a dark purple or navy or something. But I feel like it's still cute. This side doesn't have as much of the color transfers. If you put, like, a colorful scarf on the right side, I think it would cover most of the marks. You wouldn't really see it, but it's still beautiful regardless. The leather is in really great shape other than the color transfer that's on it. And the interior is such a fun purple color. This is a collab with Robert Wilson. There's a little tag right there. And there you go, a little Louis Vuitton action. Just a little top, like a little top handle bag. You can carry it kind of like in your arm or in your hand like this. Um, it also has like the little initial P that's embossed right there on the back. Yeah, the, uh, it's this thing. Or is it this thing? Too many lights. I feel like the lighting is messing up the colors. Or is it just the monitor that's messed up? I can't really tell. Adrian's not saying anything, so I really don't know. But it's like um, a hot pink and a hot orange color. And then it just has Vachetta handles. Robert Wilson is a collaborator with this one. And here's that bright purple interior. There's just one interior pocket, super clean on the inside. And that's going to be, I feel like it's too dark. Is that better or is that like weirder? 
No. Is that better? Robert Wilson. Vapor, are you like not watching? I've been holding it up for like the past 30 minutes. Yeah, it's a dark, it's like a dark bluish black color. You can see it like right here on the sides. And then on this side as well, right there. Hi, Linda. How are you? Oh, thank you, Linda. I'm trying to fix up the lighting. The lighting in here is not the best right now. <laughs> I think it's because my other light is like, hold on, maybe it's because it's facing the wrong way. Is that a little better? But I'm going to send you, I'm going to post up a photo of what the bag looks like. So you guys get like a better idea of the color. But it's like a hot pink. Like this is what it looks like. Too small. There you go. <laughs> it like this is like this bag is kind of like the hot like what's that one Barbie that has like drawing on its face and her hair is like kind of crazy. Like that's like this is like weird Barbie from the movie. Like that's kind of like what this bag looks like. But. I feel like it still has a lot of life left and <laughs> this is gonna be our first item um louis vuitton robert wilson hot pink and orange mini tote and this is gonna be yeah Let's do, we're going to do this one for 350 That's going to be item number one. Okay. Next up, for number two. <laughs> I feel like the lighting is such a mess. Definitely need to fix it. I don't know what I can do though. I'm gonna have to like add the other light right next to this one. Hmm. Hey Carmen, how's it going? All right, there's a bunch more people in here. So I'm gonna leave the link one more time for the giveaway. We're giving away a pair of sunglasses tonight. They're by a brand called Wonderland. That's how they look on. But this is tonight's giveaway. Our question is, what show are you currently streaming? Like, what are you watching right now? Right, Carmen? It's a Louis Vuitton. It's super cute. All right, next up, we have... This pair of Chanel Ballet Flats. They are a nude color with black leather trim. So fun. They have the CC logos embroidered on the sides. And then they have little black leather caps on the front. And then also on the back as well. And then the bottoms look like this. This is probably where they have the boast wear is on the bottom as you can see. But they still have a lot of life left, I feel like. I feel like they can they can still go they still last for a while. Hey 
<laughs> you know, I need to, I think my bulbs need to be changed in the ceiling light. Um, yeah. I think that's what needs to happen. I feel like the lights are dying. Oh, you guys want to see the chandelier? Let's see. Oh, that's the chandelier up there. Oh, now this thing is going to fall. I shouldn't have messed with it. Okay, so um, these are also a size 37 and a half. On Chanel flats. <laughs> Not better. Okay, what have you done? And black Chanel LA flats, um, size, and these are how much? Okay, these are a hundred and ten dollars. Um, this I don't know if anyone will remember, but back in our old house, that chandelier actually used to be from our old dining room. So we brought it back, we brought it to this house. Yeah, it's the bad bunker. <laughs> Steffi. <laughs> oh, congratulations, Purple Rain. These shoes are going to you. Alrighty, next up. We have. <laughs> oh my goodness, the stash from Natural Disasters. Can you imagine? Okay, our next item is. Gonna be oh okay, I can finally show off this bag better. I think so. This is a All Saints slap bag crossbody. It's super duper cute, and right now you can wear it as a shoulder bag like this, but you can actually extend it to become. A crossbody. Like this. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna move this down. Yeah, there you go. So you can wear like a crossbody like this. It's a really, really cute bag. It's in this black pebble of leather. It has gold hardware. And you squeeze this little button right here that releases the top flap. This opens up. You have almost like an accordion style, like gusseting on the sides. And the interior just has a one interior pocket and it's lined in a black like microfiber lining. And then there also is a nice big back pocket right here as well. This bag is in great condition. There's just some light marks on the hardware. On the front, other than that, it's in really great shape. Such a cute bag. And this is going to be item number three. All Saints. Awesome. 
flap bag. This is how much we have? Okay, this one is just $90. That's number three. It's a pretty good size, too. Let me see if it'll hold, like, my iPad or something. I'm gonna literally drop everything. Oh, it does fit my iPad. Okay, yeah, my iPad does fit inside perfectly. So you can actually fit a full size iPad here. So that means you can probably fit a 12, 13 inch MacBook Pro or MacBook Air inside of here as well. So that's awesome. So it's a pretty good size. There it is again. Kind of looks like the All Soft Celine bag. You guys know what that one looks like. It kind of looks very similar to this. Okay. Next up, I have. Let's do this guy. We have this super cute Kate Spade wallet. This one has flamingos. It's in pink Safiano. It says case paid right there on the front. On the back, you have a clear ID pocket right here. And then there's also another pocket behind it. There's a little change pocket up top, which is nice and clean. And it snaps open like this. Six card slots. And then there's also a little money pocket right there. Aww. Thank you, Bunny. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy all the videos. Okay, so this is our next item. This one also is in like new condition. It's in really great shape. This is item number four. And that's our pink flamingo K Spade wallet with gold hardware. And this is, this one's going to be just $40, and that's going to be item number four. Thank you, Purple Rain. Oh, and Deborah, this one's yours. Congratulations. I honestly don't know what, <laughs> what it is. I need to fix it. I need to fix the lighting or something, but we'll figure it out. I think I need new light bulbs or something for my chandelier. I've kind of just been like leaving it because I feel like it's okay for like a, you know, but... I feel like I do need better lighting for sure. But congratulations, Deborah. That wallet's going to your little pink flamingo wallet. Next up, we got item number five. Oh, okay, let's do. Things are falling. Okay. Next up, I'm gonna have a pair of sunglasses if I could find it. Oh, here they are. Okay. This is a pair of Dior sunglasses. They come with a case and everything. They're super duper cute. They look like this. They have a gold frame. They're kind of like an aviator style. They have little nose pieces. These are in like new condition. I really like the shape of them. They're very unique. And I love the little CD logos on the side. 
And I like the way that it has these little, like, how it connects right here on the sides. I think that's really, really cool. They look like this on. They're actually a pretty good size. Like, the width of them is really good, but they'll fit a multitude of faces. So this is how they look on. Um, Steffi, I have no clue. <laughs> it, the room is currently giving me a little anxiety right now because I feel like the lighting is the most atrocious it's ever been. Um, but we'll figure it out. I don't know. I kind of like that it's here and I can just like have it set up all the time. But I think I need to figure out the background. It's a little crazy. Maybe if I can, can I do anything else to fix this a bit better. Okay, so this is number five. These are our um, gold Dior Aviator sunglasses with cakes. And these are... They definitely kind of look like Matrix, huh? How much? Okay, we're going to do just 175 on these. That's going to be item number five, okay? Those are our Dior sunglasses, $175. Again, they do come with the box. They're in like new condition. Super duper cute sunglasses. I don't know why I put them away and put them back on, but... That's a good look. Oh my gosh! I was like, those sunglasses are so cool that he wears in the, in that show. I love that you know exactly where they're from, though, Hannah. That's so funny. Alright, next up, we have this. This is the MCM wallet. It comes with a box. It's a full set. You have the dust bag and all of the cards and everything as well inside. So I'll come inside there. Here is the wallet. It's in a taupe colored leather. This is the front side that's embossed with the MCM monograms. There's the back. This is pretty much the only wear that there's an indentation of the card that was in the back there. And you can see that right there and then kind of down there right, um, below. But once you get a card in there, you're not going to notice. Um, there's also a little bit of slight discoloration right there where you have the indent from the card. But it's pretty much just on the back. Like, that's really the only wear that you can see is back there. The front is in perfect condition. The corners are really good. The inside is nice and clean as well. There's a pocket back there, another pocket. Then it has a little key holder right there. And then you can keep the keys out like this. Or you can put the keys inside if you want to protect your contents of your bag from your keys from scratching. Throw that inside of there. And looks like that. No, he has like, he does, he's not part of the Big Head Brigade, unfortunately. So I feel like they would be probably tiny. I really want the Burgundy Celines that sold, that sold out. Maris, were they the burgundy ones that I had? Or were, are they a different pair? Six. Okay, so this is our um, taupe MCM key case or key card wallet with box. And this is How much? Okay, we're just going to do this one for $115. This one's going to be a really good deal. That's going to be item number six for just $115. One, one, five. All right, then we're going to go to number seven. Oh, 
Why is this thing going so slow? I feel like my computer is having technical difficulties tonight. Okay, our next item is going to be... Hold on, let me just pull this over here. What do I have in here? None of these other ones are really too exciting. Oh, the Triumph sunglasses. Oh, uh, yeah. I no longer have those for sure. Okay, next up, I do have this pair of Celine sunglasses. They are like an oversized, almost cat eye style. Um, tortoise shell sunglass. These are Celine. They look like this. They're pretty nice. Like, they're so large. They're such a good size. So this is our Celine Extra Large. Oh, Tanya, this is my hot mess. Um, bad bunker. <laughs> That's what the chaos is behind Hadrian. Hadrian needs to figure out his life. Um, Celine cat eye sunglasses with... Okay, these are going to be... Okay, let's do these for just $120, you guys. $120 for these Celine extra large cat eye style sunglasses. Oh, uh, thank you, Steffi. Okay. And that's going to be it for sunglasses. I don't want to just keep doing sunglasses. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. You can definitely go into a rabbit hole on TikTok. I feel like that happens to me a lot. Alright, next up is going to be number 8. And let's do... This is... Wait, this didn't sell, right? No. Did we do the Coach backpack? I have this Coach backpack. It's super cute. It's in black. Leather. Um, I actually gave my brother the smaller version of this bag for Christmas this past year. And this is in black leather with guide metal colored hardware. There is some wear on the hardware. So there's a little bit of the gunmetal color coming off. You see that brighter silver coming through underneath. And there's just one back strap. So right now, so this is how it is. Just like that. You can carry it on your back. Hmm? The blanket? Oh, it's it's a blanket, Kathleen. And then you can carry it on your front like this. And then you just move the strap to the other D-ring on the back, depending on which side you prefer to carry your bag. So this is it on the front. It has a pocket that's built into the top flap right there. Then you have another zipper pocket just right there in the front. 
there's a drawstring up top to get into the main area of the bag. And then there's just one interior pocket just inside of there, so it's really hard to show. And that I think is pretty much it for the bag. It does also have this little coach patch on the front, it just says coach. There's the back. There's um, a fabric panel back here to make it more breathable when you carry it. And then there's um, what's little dots called? It's perforated right here in the top front uh, where the top flap is, but this is leather. Okay, so this is our black coach. Pack with gunmetal hardware. Okay, this one is $85. That's number eight. It's um that blanket is the Hermes one that I thrifted from the from the Goodwill bins like a while back. Oh, Linda's calling it. Congrats, Linda. Number eight. Hey. So yeah, this is that blanket that um, I thrifted from the Goodwill bins like a few years ago. Was it before? It was before pandemic, I think. It was when I got it. I haven't really been back since. I feel like I've only been back like maybe three times since the pandemic, or four. Oh, thanks, Linda. Yeah, it's such a beautiful bag. The leather is super soft. But yeah, I like, I found that blanket, like, it was like, it was after everyone's been through it, like no one was looking at those bins anymore. And it was so dirty. I did like a video washing it. And then people were mad because I washed it. And it's like an Hermes blanket. And I'm like, it looks like dogs have been like, using it. Like it was really, really dirty. I was telling people that it looked like it was Jeffree Star's dog blanket because Jeffree Star's dogs have like airmen blankets to fill on and that literally looks just like the one. Um, okay, next up is number nine. Number nine is this. This is a Marc Jacobs. Yeah, Kathleen, that's crazy. Like literally no one wanted it because <laughs> it was so it was like honestly it was so disgusting it was really really dirty i have to find that video again for when i found it but there's a youtube video on when i found it and there's another one for when i watched it and or when my my mom helped me watch it it was a little nerve-wracking but i mean like what what was the worst that could happen it was already disgusting and it was just from the bin so i didn't spend very much on it at all Okay, so next up, this is a Marc Jacobs Collection wallet on chain. Hey, Don, how are you? And it is in this tan color with gold hardware. It's in pretty good shape. Um, there's just some... These look like glue marks. Like, when they make the bags, sometimes some of the glue gets on the leather. And over time, it starts to brown and yellow. That's honestly what that looks like. Um, and there is a little rubbing on the top corner, but nothing too crazy. It has gold hardware right here. You squeeze that down, this pops up. It's missing this chain strap, but there are little D-rings right there so you can attach strap to it. And then interior has just one interior zipper pocket. Um, they did write on the interior, though, right there. There are, like, Sharpie marks in the pocket, but at least it's inside the pocket. The interior, though, is in otherwise pretty good shape. Interior is nice and clean. Oh, well, so let me see if I have a strap that you just would like to Um...
I don't think I have anything that really matches it. This is the strap for a different bag. I'll show you guys how it looks. But, um, you can just get any chain strap for it and attach it on. And then you have a crossbody. There you go. Oh, don't worry about being late. We're in the bag bunker. <laughs> I guess that's what we're calling it. It's just a hot mess though, so don't judge it too harshly. I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, what was number one again? Oh, the Louis Vuitton, right? This is the Louis Vuitton. It's a hot pink, like, vernice leather with, like, these orange neon orange stripes throughout it's a special collab with robert wilson and there are like color transfer marks on it though so like on the sides right there yeah there's the color transfer on the sides and there's also some on this corner as well, and on the bottom. So they're kind of like throughout the bag, the color transfer. It's a little unfortunate, but I feel like the bag is still beautiful. It has a lot of life left. Um, but this is the bag. Again, it's not gonna come with the chain. This is the chain that I have for another bag, but um, it should be really easy to get another one. That'll match. Actually, if you buy this, I will just include a chain. I'll find one for it that'll match the hardware. Okay, so this is number nine. This is our Marc Jacobs collection um, wallet on chain with full hardware. And this is how much, Peter? Okay. So this one's 65. Again, it won't come with the original chain, but I will include one. It's really cute though. It's a good size. It'll it'll also fit like the largest iPhone fits inside of here too. And then you can just use it as a wallet as well. Um, oh, Deborah's calling it. Congratulations, Deborah. Number nine is going to you. <laughs> Yay, Deborah! Okay, set that right there. Alrighty, next up, we have number 10. Oh, you have a chain. Okay, perfect, Deborah. Yay. Yeah, any gold chain will probably match. Congrats. Okay, so that's that one. Next up, I have Let's do another pair of Oh, I still have these. What are these? Are these the Dallas ones? Okay, these are Chanel sunglasses. They need the nose piece replaced, so they will need a nose piece. Otherwise, though, the sunglasses are in pretty good condition. They are kind of like an opaque clear on the sides right there. You can see, like, the gold um, coming through, and then it's like an ivory color on the very ends, and the metal frame is in gold with, like, an orange-brown lens. This is how they look on. They're a really, really good size. Again, they're just missing one of the nose pieces. So you uh, just, would just need to get that replaced. But that's how they look on. Again, this little plastic piece is just missing from the nose piece. Um, Chanel. And they do have the little Chanel logos just on 
the sides. Come on, focus. Focus. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. And yeah. Oh no, Don. Is everything okay though? Other than the storm being crazy, it was raining here earlier too. So, but I'm sure it's nothing like it was over there. Chanel, gold aviators with brown lenses. Okay, and this is how much meter? Okay, we're gonna do these for just $65, you guys. They're in really, really good shape. It shouldn't be too hard to get another nose piece. Um, you could probably just bring them to like a Nordstrom or uh, like a Bloomingdale's. I know they have nose pieces there that they can just actually attach to you or like a sunglass hut. Um, yeah. I knew someone that used to work in the sunglass department, so I know that they have all that stuff there. But that is number 10, our Chanel sunglasses, $65. Again, they're just missing the nose piece. Okay, next up, we have number 11. And for number 11, I have, these are Fendi sandals they are in black i love the hardware on here they're like these almost like a like a like a gold flower with black jewels in them they shine and shimmer all the jewels are intact um the base of the shoe is a satin and then has a black leather trim it has a tiny little heel and these are a size 38 and a half they fit like an eight and a half um they have the little buckles on the side, too, that do say Fendi. And the shoes are in pretty decent condition. They don't have, like, too much wear to the bottoms and nothing crazy. And the shoes are in pretty decent shape. Maybe just a little bit of rubbing on some of the corners. But they're super duper cute. Look at that. They, they go around your ankle like that. And this is number 11, our black Fendi sandals with gold um, flower details and black rhinestones, size 8.5. And this, uh, these are how much here? Okay, we're going to do these for just $85. That's going to be number 11. Okay. 85. Sorry the, li the live today was like so sporadic too. Like I wasn't planning on going live, but I was like, I need to test out this new <laughs> background. And I feel like I need to change it up. I don't know. I feel like maybe during the daytime it'll be better when there's like better lighting. But, yeah. Maybe I'll test it. Okay, tomorrow I have a live at like 10 a.m. Um, and we'll see how it looks in the daytime. But, oh, I feel like when I stand this far back, it's like not that bad. Oh, it's so hot. Okay. Next up is number 12. And we have... This is a Vera Bradley belt bag it's so cute it's in this like light blue color with this really nice floral design and it's quilted and the strap on here is really really good like it is a really really good size so it'll be the perfect like body bag length because you could adjust it fully and it's also great to just wear around your waist as well it's a nice and soft it's all fabric uh, it has silver hardware. And then this zips open. The interior has three built-in card slots. 
there's a one zipper pocket. Um, there is um, some writing just right there from the store in Sharpie. Otherwise, this bag is in like new condition. It's really, really cute. It does also have a little snap too. So you can, you can like undo it as well. And what's cool is that there's two of them. So there's two like different areas to snap. This is actually kind of like an extender. And then you can also just do it like that. So this part will extend it, which I think is really nice and pretty cool actually. This is the first time I've ever seen a bag that had an extender for the strap. And I think that's really cool. So you can definitely fully adjust it to whatever size you wanted. And <laughs> this is a good exercise, Carmen. I'll just like move around. This is my cardio. Okay, this is... How long do people like stand up and walk around for like when they do like QVC stuff? Vera, Bradley... Blue, floral, quilted, felt bag. This is... Okay, we're going to do this one for $17. That's going to be item number 12. $17. Alright, lucky number 13 is next. <gasps> oh, I have a good one for you guys. Are you guys ready? This one is really good. Alright, are, are you guys ready? Number 13. Alright, today, for lucky number 13, we have... And I thought about this one long and hard. And now I'm kind of in denial. Maybe I don't want to do this. Okay, this is it. Let's just... Do it. It is a beautiful, this is a Loewe um, balloon bucket bag. And this is in the natural colored canvas with the golden brown leather trim and silver hardware. She is in light new condition. There is not a mark on her. Look at that giant Loewe embossed logo down there on the bottom. It also does have the little Loewe dice little die right there. Silver. It's super cute. That's on the front. The strap is also fully adjustable. It is like the perfect size. It's really cute. Uh, I just had it shorter but definitely it extends a lot longer than this too. This will come with the authentication card. Um, and I don't have, like, the actual dust bag for this one. But here's the interior. It's in. It's fully lined in suede. And it just has one interior pocket right there in the back of the interior right there. And it actually has, like, kind of, like, two drawstrings. There's one on this side. And then there, this is the one that, like, is, like, the decorative one on the front. Uh... I, Hana, I don't know why. So that people can't change the prices, maybe, or whatever, even if they change out the, st uh, the stickers. But sometimes you forget to write inside the bags or the items, too, which is crazy. Or sometimes they still accuse you of changing the prices, even though it's all written on there. So I don't know. It's nuts. Um, this is number 13. This is our Loewe, uh, balloon bucket bag in natural canvas and brown. And this is how it's in. Okay, this is going to be 1,000... Ooh, 200? What, wait, 1,000? 1, okay, 1,100. 
And you are not going to find this bag for that price in this condition. It's in a really, 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 really good shape. Honestly, it looks brand new. And she's beautiful. Gorgeous. It's number 13. I know, Hana. I hate when they do that, too. Okay. Next up, we have number 14. So good. I'm just gonna set it up here. Okay, our next item is going to be I think Kay just came back from water polo. It is crazy, that kid is like so busy. I don't know. <laughs> what is even happening anymore? Um, these are Celine sunglasses, and they are in like this clear, icy blue color with a blue lens, and then the hardware underneath is silver. What happened, baby? Why are you laughing? Ah! Hana, that is the truth. <laughs> I'm like, whatever, whatever I can sell tonight, I can use for the Mononoke launch tomorrow. Oh, I heard, I saw that you got the bag. You ordered the Princess Mononoke tote bag. Congratulations. I think I'm going to see if I can get it tomorrow. Um, if I can. It's like the Levi store that's going to have it is kind of far from where I am, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get there in time, especially because of the morning traffic. It's, like, crazy going over there. And, yeah. But I will try and go so I can see everything. Um, and I'll try to film everything or at least take pictures of stuff uh, so you guys can see everything. Um, so I think that'll be pretty cool. But, yeah. Hopefully that stuff will still be there. I really want to see, like, the jackets and the little coin purses and especially the tote bag because I feel like that's what the thing that I would want is a tote bag and maybe one of the little coin pouches. Um, I don't know about the really expensive t-shirts, though they're really cool. I do like the hoodies, too, and the denim jackets. Ah, everything looks so cool. Okay, so this is going to be item number 14. And this is the Celine Clear Ice Blue Sunglasses with blue lenses and silver hardware. I feel like they look smaller than they are because they're clear, but they're actually a really, really good size. Ooh, $95 on sale. All right, $95. Help Adrian buy a Levi's Princess Mononoke coin pouch. <laughs> oh my gosh, can you imagine? That would be so cool to buy like every single piece from that collection. Everything is so cool and so much more affordable than the Lua Bay stuff. I'm just really excited to see it. I'm hoping they have some of the stuff still when I get there. I'm gonna go early, but I don't know if I can get there that early. Okay, next up is gonna be item number 15. Oh, I, I have this. It's a Cambridge satchel um, crossbody bag. This one is in gray leather with silver hardware. This one is in like new condition. It's super duper cute. This is how it looks on. 
it's such a good size. It will fit like the largest iPhone will fit inside with definitely room to spare. It has this cute little hardware right here on the front. You squeeze that down, that pops open. And the inside is actually in this uh, kind of like a dark brown. It's a treated suede on the interior. So it's just the underside of the exterior leather, but it's treated so it's a little bit more smooth. Um, there's the interior. There's no pockets or anything on the inside. Yeah, the kimono is really cute. So that's that one. Number 15. Oh, the Joy Luck Club. That is such a good book. And the movie is good too. This is our gray Cambridge mini crossbody bag with silver hardware. And this is gonna be $65. That is number 15. Okay, 16. Okay, next, let's do <laughs> I still have these glittery bags. They're so cool. Why is it like this? There we go. Okay, this is our next item. This is our Kate Spade top like a flat bag and this is in a glittery pink with gold hardware it has the back pocket right there this is kind of like a wallet on a chain inside is also glittery underneath the top flap which is really cool there's six built-in card slots and a zipper pockets in the back this is in like new condition it's so cute the chain is also removable too you can remove the chain so you can just use it as a wallet or as a clutch, and then this is how it looks on. It hits me right about like right at my hip. So this is how it looks on. Really, really cute. And that's number sixteen. This is our glitter pink Kate Spade. Wallet on chain bag with gold hardware. This is only $65. Again, this one is in like new condition. Look at how she shines and shimmers. She's amazing. And then I also still have the other one. This one is in a rose gold color. So this one is pink and this one is rose gold. You can see the difference. In them, this has like more gold to it since it's the rose gold, but definitely has those really pretty pink undertones. This is also in like new condition, also with a removable crossbody strap, which is also adjustable. It also has the little feet seeds on the bottom, and then the interior has three built in card slots and a pocket. And both of these will fit your iPhone or the largest iPhone, like, both will fit inside perfectly. That's even with the case and the pop socket and everything. And this is how it looks on. Ooh, shiny shimmery. Look at that. And this is number 17. Rose gold glitter case bid. And this is how much, Reader? Okay, this is the same price as the other one, also 65 but also in like new condition. That's number 6, set, number, wait, number 16, number 17, not number 17.
All right, next up, 18. Carmen, they're calling your name. Look how shiny and shimmery they are. <laughs> Next up, we have, this is a Mark Jacobs, a Mark by Mark Jacobs, like little cross body bag. It's in this really pretty blue color. This one is also in like new condition. This one's silver hardware. Crossbody strap is adjustable and removable. And the interior, the top, uh, the top has a magnet that's built in. And then it just has um, one interior zipper pocket. And it's super clean inside as well. Like I said, this bag is in life new condition. And this is how it looks on. It's really, really cute. This will also fit um, the largest iPhone, either standing up or laying down horizontally. And number 18. These are blue Mark by Mark Jacobs. Small cross like that. With silver hardware. And this one. Okay, $55 for this one. And this one is also in light new condition as well. Have you guys been seeing all of like the new Marc Jacobs stuff that actually is just being brought back? Like, it's stuff that he retired and he's bringing them all back. And I guess Kim Kardashian is the new face of Marc Jacobs as well. Or something I saw that she was doing like a campaign ad uh, this morning with... Uh, with the Marc Jacobs tote bag. And I think, did it have polka dots? I don't remember. Okay, next up, we have, this one is a really nice, large Rebecca Minkoff satchel with silver hardware. This one actually will fit like a 13 inch uh, MacBook or like a MacBook Air. It has silver hardware. There's a huge front zipper pocket right there. And then it actually has a pocket in the back and a pocket in the front. And they're both magnetic. So it's so much space and so many compartments. The main portion of the bag zips open. And then there's a zipper pocket inside of there. And then four just like open pockets. So super spacious. That zips across. It also does have this crossbody strap, which is adjustable and removable. And it's like that crossbody. This is also a pretty good work bag as well. And it's super cute. Top handles are not necessarily long enough to carry on your shoulder unless you have a really small arm. But you can adjust the crossbody strap to make it shoulder length and just do it like that. Um, but it's great, great bag. It's in really good condition as well. It also does have feet on the bottom. The corners are all really good. And yeah, this is Rebecca Minkoff's black satchel. Oh, the New Heavens collection stuff is so cool. Do you have photos from back then, Hana, when you used to dress like that? I bet you look fabulous. This is our black Rebecca Minkoff satchel with silver hardware. And this one is, this one's $45. That's a deal, that's a good one. Okay, $45 is item number 19. Okay, next up is our, this is a Madewell little shoulder bag. It's in a, like a crescent moon style. This one is brand new with tags. 
Let me remove all the paper and stuff inside. Still has all the original stuffing from the store. The tags are all inside here, still attached to the bag as well. And the interior is unlined. There's just one interior pocket inside of there. The bag is super duper cute. So this is how it looks without all the stuffing inside. Really, really fun bag. Cute and compact, but the leather is super duper soft. It'll hold a lot. And it's in this nice, like neutral, like beigey color. The leather smells really good on this too. Hmm? Increment. <laughs> you were a club kid? <gasps> That's so, did you wear like those crazy like club kid outfits? Like, like party monster? Okay, this is our um, tan. These other midwell crescent shoulder bag. And this is how much we're doing? <gasps> That's so cool, Hana. I feel like we need to see some photos, please. Okay, we're doing this one for $70. This one's 70. This one is new with tags. That's going to be number 20. Super cute. Look at that. to go to the limelight. Oh, no way, Hana. That's like so cool. I don't think I would ever have been cool enough to go to the club. I'm not cool enough now. I can't. It's too loud. There's too many people. I'm like such a homebody. I would rather be at home. Vaderin said they'd rather be clubbing, so... Really, Steffi, you work there? That's so cool. Why is everyone here so cool? I'm so boring. <gasps> also, did I show you guys this? This is one of my new favorite things. It's the vitamin C firming body butter made with glycolic acid. This is from Trader Joe's. It smells so, so good. I'm obsessed. While my cousin was here, we were like all obsessing over this. I think she bought like five of these to bring back with her to the Philippines. And to gift to her friends and like our other relatives. So, highly recommend. It's, it smells so, so good. Like I feel like the smell is really what gets me. Oh, and the coat check? That's so cool. Okay, next up. I still have this little guy, the little Mickey Mouse coach zipper wristlet pouch thing. And it has gunmetal hardware. It does have the little hang tag still. There's a pocket in the back. And then the main portion of the bag zips. And there's just one interior pocket. Cell phone does fit inside of here perfectly. There is... A little bit of discoloration in the interior around the top where the zipper is. Otherwise, it's in really, really good condition. The exterior looks really nice as well. And the corners are in pretty decent shape. Very, very like minimal rubbing. I think this one corner has the most wear in terms of rubbing. It's like barely anything. Um, oh, Sandra's calling number 19. That's our Rebecca Minkoff. Congratulations, Sandra. Yay! I'm sorry, Vadrian's gone, so it didn't tell me. 
No, you're not. All right. No, you're not. Yellow, Mickey, Coach, Wristlet, Gunmetal Hardware. And this is how much? Money? Okay, this one is just $45. That's number 21. Are you serious, Steph? You guys sell the ca the jackets? Like, how long do people normally have before you you sell them? I don't think I've ever been anywhere where you guys are checking your jacket. When we used to live uh, in New York, in uh, the apartment building that we lived in. On the very top floor is like, you know, it's like an open area where you can like rent it or like, yeah, you can like rent it out and have parties. And like my mom and her friends, like whenever it was like a holiday or a birthday, they would like rent out that top space and you would have like a party and invite like all of their friends from work and stuff. And there'd be so much food and all of us kids, we would play and I didn't even know at the time like what it was. So, like, we thought it was, like, a closet, but it was, like, a coat check thing. And it had, like, those doors that, like, opened on top and, like, the bottom. So you can just open the top and then you can people can check their coats in. And then there's, like, uh, like hanging space to hang, like, jackets and stuff. And I never thought that that's what that was until probably right now. <laughs> it was a coat check now that I'm thinking about it. But that's actually pretty cool. End of the night? Oh, Steffi, that's crazy. What if people lose, like, their little number for the jacket, like, for their coat? Like, what's the process of getting your jacket if you lose it? They didn't have cell phones back then, so it's not like, look at me, I was wearing it in this photo. I have to, like, bring in a Polaroid of me wearing it, just in case. Okay, our next item is going to be down here. Oh, I have another Madewell piece. I'm actually going to combine it with this wallet, even though it's not a Madewell, because they look like they match, so I think it's really cute still. This is a Patricia Nash, and then this is a Madewell a mini transport tote. Um, they're both in like new condition. They both have like a woven style leather, albeit they're both a little different. This one is more like squared off. So this is a little bit more zigzag looking, but I think they're so cute still. I feel like they're still a fun pair, and I like the contrast between the browns. And they both have gunmetal hardware, so they have that in common, but I figured I might as well do these together if I thought that'd be cool. Um, this one, the back has a crossbody strap, removable and adjustable. It does close the top, has a little closure, and there's one interior zipper pocket on the inside right there. And then the wallet has this little belt detail in the front that opens up, and then you have a clear ID and a bunch of card slots, and then two bill pockets. You can actually fit your cell phone inside this larger pocket up top, so you can use this as a clutch as well. So this is going to be a little two-for-one special for tonight. You're going to get a Patricia Nash wallet, and you're also going to get this Madewell Transport Tote. And they're both a woven leather. This is number 22. Two-for-one deal. Madewell Mini tra Woven Leather Brown Transport Tote. And... Patricia Nash Brown Mother Woven Wallet, both with gun metal. Or no gun metal, it's uh, brass, bronze, bronze, brass, brass hardware. And this is how much, Peter? This is for both. Okay, we're gonna do these two, the pair, for $60. 
It wasn't that organized. <laughs> That's crazy, Steffi. No way. I love that we have the we have the juicy details from the club from you. That's cool. But yeah, I actually remember that whole controversy. That whole era though is crazy. Like the whole like like when Lindsay Lohan and Brittany and uh, Paris were all in the car together. Like that whole setup was crazy. That's nuts. Okay, so again. This is for the two. You get both the wallet and the bag for $60, and that's number 22. So you can keep both or gift one or the other, whatever. That's that. Next up, we have 23. And let's do... <gasps> I don't know if you guys saw... Um... The, the photos of when we went to the Getty. My mom got, um, the I think it was the day before, we went to um, the coach store and she got the bag from this collection, but it was like a little wallet on a chain style. And it was so, so cute. I was like, oh my gosh, I literally have like two of the bags from that collection. So I have this guy, this is like the lunch box style version of the puffer coach bag it's quilted and i believe the color is called lime on this one this is in like new condition it has a back pocket has a front pocket right there the hang tag is right here and it's attached i have the crossbody strap inside it's right here and then the interior is gusseted and it just has one interior pocket it still has all the cards and stuff just right inside of there and Yes, leather on the interior as well. So leather inside and out. And the crossbody strap is adjustable and obviously removable. So I have it attached. And this is going to be number 23. The color of this is so cute, too. Hold on, let me actually put the crossbody strap on so you can model it. Hey, Lady Badger, how are you? here. Oh, she's a really cute size. And it's still, it is adjustable. So right now it's hitting me right at my hip, to the top of the bag. And super cute. This is our lime colored coach. Puffer quilted leather lunch box style bag with brass hardware. Okay, we're going to do this one for just $150. That's going to be item number 23. Oh, Lady Badger, it's okay. We're glad you're here though to say hi. How are you? This live wasn't really planned tonight. It kind of was very spur of the moment and like sporadic. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to test out the new setup and the background and it's a hot mess back there, so. So that was 23 is our little coach bag. So cute. I still also do have the swinger style of this one in the same color and also in like new condition. It's really, really cute. Next up, this is a, another little Madewell cutie. This is in red and this has brass hardware, little top handle, crossbody strap is adjustable but not removable. There's a front pocket right here. It's all lined in suede. Uh, I think the only thing with this bag is it has like a little, it's kind of like a scratch mark right there. So it's a little bit discolored. So it's a little bit lighter than the rest of the bag is a little mark right there. Otherwise, this bag is in like new condition. It does zip 
across the top, which is fantastic. And then the interior is, again, like I said, unlined. So it's suede on the inside. There's no other pockets in the interior, though. So you just have this one front pocket, and then that's it, and the back does zip. And the strap is adjustable. Um, it goes a little bit shorter than this, but also goes a lot longer. This is the bag on. It's a really, really great size as well. And this is number 24. Red, made well, small cross body bag. And this one is going to be Okay, we're doing this one for just $45. This one is in wonderful condition, like I said, and it's super duper cute. That's number 24. And then we have one. Oh, Susu's calling number 24. Congrats, Susu. Or one step closer to the Princess Mononoke Levi's collection. Yay, thank you. All right. Um, should we just do one more item? Or should we do a couple more? What do you guys think? I'll be back again tomorrow, though, at like 10. Should I do 10 a.m. or 9 a.m.? Is it gonna be, if I do it at 10, is it going to be too late to go to the Mononoke collection? Or should I do it like later on in the day? So I can go to Mononoke first. I don't know. <gasps> Actually, maybe we'll come on later. So that way I can get, I can, if I get anything, I can show you guys during the live. So maybe we'll go on. I'm going to change the time because I think I set it at 10 a.m. Um, should I do like 6 or 7? Oh, Kathleen, good night. I hope you have a, a successful surgery tomorrow. Go to Levi's. Okay, I will go to Levi's first then. Whoa, three thumbs down for the video. It's crazy because um, when we do it using this app that I use to do the lives, um, you can see like the thumbs ups and thumbs downs. I just got another thumbs down. It's so funny. That's like the most I've ever gotten. Four thumbs down. <laughs> anyway, thanks for the thumbs downs either. Because I think anything is good, right? Any sort of activity. Zachary would be so mad. Okay, next up is 25. It's going to be our last item for the day. Oh, Carmen, I think we're going to do that on Friday. That's going to be the... Um, I'll make another announcement. Friday is going to be the last, the, the day that we're going to be doing the next half of the gift opening for um, our gift exchange. Okay, what should I do for the last item? Oh, I wonder who the trolls are. Okay, our next item is gonna be. Should I do like something from the top shelf? Do I have any? Oh, let's just do. Let's just do our our little mustard. Oh, I'll show you guys. I have catch. I just happen to have ketchup with me. Also, ketchup's not available though. This is my mom's bag now, but um, <laughs> she was using it the other day, and then she was like, "Can you condition her for me?" And I was like, "Yeah." So that's why I have her right now. But we have mustard right here. Our little mustard Chanel, um, the mini backpack. And she's clear up top, silver hardware. It has a longer, like, the top handle is super cute because it gets long enough to carry you on your shoulder, which is nice. The larger one, you can't do that. It doesn't really extend that far at all. Like, this is the most that it extends. And then this is how long the other one extends. 
So it does extend longer for sure. Silver hardware, the main compartment is on the bottom, so that way, like, these are the, what you want to put inside the bag that doesn't show. It's down here, at the bottom. And then, up top, it just has a little turn lock. There, there's a little Chanel tag. This will also come with a certificate of authenticity and all that good stuff. I just don't have the Chanel desk bag to go with it, or the original Chanel card as well. I know, Hannah, seriously. Wait, Lady Badger, you, do you get trolls on your channel too? That's awful. Alright, so this is our yellow Chanel Mini Clear and another backpack. And this is how I Okay, this is $1,650. We're sticking it, we're sticking to our sale price. Um, that's number 25. Hi, Madame Goomba. Hey, Trip, how's it going? <laughs> now that Trip's here, we can end. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we, <laughs> we are going to end. So this is the last item, though. Wait, are you serious, Lady Badger? Like, how many thumbs downs do you get for your video? That's crazy. An admirer from Sri Lanka? No way. Wait, I think I had... Was that the same per like I think I had someone coming from Sri Lanka before too. Was it the same person? Do you remember the name? But that's crazy. They wanted a West That's weird. Oh, my damn Goomba, can you see them up there? <laughs> that, that, there's a, a small amount of them is up there. I, I need to fix it up, though. Like, I want to get more of those floating shelves that I have. But um, the only thing is, I think, like, these are, they're from Pottery Barn. And I think they discontinued those shelves. I don't think they make them anymore. So I'm going to have to find them maybe secondhand or something. So I don't know what to do. Or if I should just get like new shelves. But I literally, like, these are shelves that I had in my old room. I've had these for like ever. So. Oh, it's a little fan! Because I'm hot and sweating profusely. This is the only thing keeping me from melting. <gasps> Lady Badger, that's crazy. But that happens, though. But that means that means you're cool, though. Like, it means, like, your channel is, like, popping when you get people that are, like, trolling you. But that sounds so good, Tanya. I want fish and chips. I'm so hungry. I think my, I think my mom made pasta, so I think I'm going to have that. Okay, let me leave the link one more time for the giveaway. Also, if anyone has any questions about anything, let me know. Um, invoices should be sent out within the next 15 minutes. And again, our giveaway for tonight is this really cool pair of sunglasses. They're from Wonderland. Lady Badger's always been one of the cool kids. Yeah, I have, like, this really big, um... I don't think you guys have ever seen it. Maybe, like, when I first moved into this house, I might have shown it. But I have, like, a really big 
um, like it's a huge bookcase display thing right here, um, right next to me, and that's primarily where I keep like most of my bags. Um, it was actually meant to be like part of the like the I. I don't know what you would call it. It, used to, it was supposed to go upstairs, but they couldn't get it up the stairs because it was so big when we got it. And we already had the bookshelves or the bookcases in the library, so we couldn't put it over there. So my room was the only place that it could have gone in. And honestly, I'm like kind of happy that that turned out to be what happened because I really love this, like the, case, like the bookcase. Um, I actually wish I had another one so I could have two of them, like one on this side. But they're really, really expensive. We got it at a really, really good deal at the Restoration Hardware Outlet. And, man, you can get really, really good deals at the furniture outlets if you go at the right time. And when they have, like, when they stack the discounts... Trip, you are a cool kid. How many bags do you have, Adrian? Um, a lot more than I care to try and count. I honestly don't think I have as many. I don't have as many as I used to have. I think I have pared down a lot, but I think I still have a good amount. I honestly don't want to know how many I have. Okay, well, um, let us. Oh, where'd it go? Okay, let's do our giveaway now. Let me get the... No, that's not it. Where are you? There you are. So I have to, like, transfer things from screen to screen because I'm using the larger one right here. I'm going to figure out how to do this properly. I think the sound wasn't working earlier because I had my laptop closed because I was initially just using this, but then when it was closed, I guess the monitor doesn't have a mic or anything, so it doesn't... It didn't have any sound. So now I know for tomorrow. Pick me, pick me, <laughs> Trip. Alright, are you guys ready? Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Okay, we're going to pick our winner in three, two, one. Do, 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 do. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, it's over here. Uh, let's drag this over. Oh, nope, didn't want to come over. Ah, come on. Where'd it go? When it's the oh, there it is. Why doesn't it want to drag over? Why is my computer mad at me? Oh, there it is. Okay. Our winner is Susu! Woo! And Susu is currently watching King of the Land. Ew! My mom, my mom and dad are watching that. They really, really like it. And I, I think my aunt and uncle, were, they, they were literally all watching it together when they were here. So, good choice, Susu. I haven't watched it, but I know that my mom and dad and and uncle really, really like it. So, congratulations, Susu. You are the winner of our sunglasses tonight. We'll send these over to you. Um, but there will be another live tomorrow. I don't exactly know what time I'll get home. I'm going to have to schedule it for like later on. I have to account for traffic. Um, and since I'm going to be out there, I'm probably going to do some thrifting or something too. So uh, I think to just make it safe, I'll just do the, uh, the live tomorrow at maybe like 7 or 8. Like, around the same time as I did tonight, if that's okay. Or should I try to do it earlier? You guys let me know. But, um, congratulations, Susu. I will schedule that next live sale. So that way, tomorrow you guys will know when. I think I'm going to do it, like, around 8 o'clock, though. Just to make sure that everything's okay. And to give myself time to drive home. And to have maybe dinner before the live starts. But, um... I'll keep you guys updated. Ooh, um, maybe I'll, I'll post in my Instagram stories too, like the stuff that I see. So that way, if anyone's interested in buying anything or has anything like from that 
Levi's collab. Uh, you guys will be able to see it. Um, but I will go there tomorrow as early as I can. I just hope I don't get stuck in too much traffic. But uh, thank you guys again so, so much for another fun night. Again, invoices should be sent out within the next 15 minutes. Um, I apologize again for the hot mess of tonight's live. <laughs> I promise it'll be better tomorrow. Um, and yeah, all right. Thanks, guys. Adios. Sayonara. Bon voyage. Have a great day tomorrow. Have a great rest of your night. Bye.